All right, so you're performing your procedure, and oh, you get some blood, and you're really happy, and you're feeling pretty good about yourself. But then you look down, and you're like, huh, it's a little brighter red than I, I really think it should be. And maybe you take off your syringe, and now it's not spurting, it's not hitting you in the chest, but it's also not just dripping either. It's a little more flow than you're used to, and you're getting a little bit worried. Now, is that an artery or is that a vein? Now, if you have any doubt, you better solve that question before you dilate and place a big catheter in that vessel. So let me show you what we do here. You'll take your wire, and you can thread the wire into an artery, and it's not going to cause any problem. You've already made the needle stick, um, so hopefully it's not an artery, but if it is, the damage is already done. And an 18-gauge needle is a pretty big size, but if you haven't dilated it, generally these folks do okay. What I like to do now is take off the needle, and in every single kit, there's an angiocath over needle. And it looks just like this. And it's actually there because you could place an IJ with this angiocath instead of uh, the introducer needle. And you could actually, what you'd do is you'd pop in, you'd get your flash, and then you'd advance that angiocath in instead of uh, just putting the wire directly into the needle. Some folks like that. I see a lot of the anesthesiologists doing it. I, it's not my preference, but it's just fine to do. But we're going to use it for a different purpose. We're going to take that angiocath off and actually thread it over our wire. And that should go in without any dilation. You can just pop that angiocath into your vein. And now the wire comes out, but save it. You're going to need it in a second, so keep it full sterile. And you have your finger over that. Have a nurse hand you an extension set. And if you don't have a nurse available, what you actually can do, and this is a tip recommended by Michelle Lynn, who I think is on the West Coast, is you can even take the uh, sheath the wire came in. And what you're going to do is you're going to attach it to your angiocath, and you want to fill it up with blood, whether it be venous or arterial, to about um, this point, about 25 centimeters. And then you're actually going to hold it up. Now, you're going to have a, a level of blood. If that level keeps on spraying up through the top, you're in an artery, because this is way higher than the patient's central venous pressure should be. If on the other hand you do this and now you see that column of blood actually flowing back towards your catheter, you're in a vein. And at this point you could take off your extension set or your wire sheath and actually re-thread your wire. Take off your angiocap and just finish your line procedure just like you originally planned. At this point, you dilate and finish off your line. Now, if you had arterial flow, what I recommend doing is leaving the angiocap there, putting a cap on it, taping it off, and actually calling the vascular surgeons and having them decide whether they want that pulled or not. I'd hold pressure over the site to make sure a hematoma is not forming and actually get some advice. And that's really the safest way. Now, if you just actually hit the artery with your 18 gauge and you haven't dilated it, chances are that vessel is going to be just fine. Um, but this will really depend on your individual institution as to what your um, departments want done in this situation. But having not dilated it, it's a much safer situation.